We started. Already? Yes. Oh, goodness me. It's early years. Song and story. I know. It is. Because <laughs> this week we're swapping it around. Song and story. Yes. But before we start that, we need to say good morning to everybody first. Okay. All right. Yeah. If the sun is shining, I'm feeling full of energy today. I'm feeling really ready for the day. Let's go. Yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? I hope you're all feeling full of energy as well, because today we want you to join in with some of the actions from our song. Now, last week, we read the story of old Mother Hubbard, who went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare and the poor little dog had none. And we had a song to go with that story that had some actions. So before we start singing, we need to teach you the actions. After she goes to the cupboard and the cupboard's bare, Old Mother Hubbard goes to visit... Um, who does she visit first? She visits the baker. The baker! To buy some bread. And when she came back, the dog was shaking his head. So you need to be standing up, ready, and you need to shake your head like this. That's the first one. <laughs> the second person that she goes to visit is the butcher. The butcher to buy some meat. And when she came back, what was the dog doing then? tapping his feet, but we're standing up so we can actually tap, tap our tap, tap, feet. Tap. Brilliant! You've got tapping the feet. Excellent. The next one. Uh, she goes to find some fruit. Oh, from the grocer. Yes. Right. So she went to get some fruit from the grocer, and when she came back, he was playing the flute. <laughs> Play the flute. And the last one, I think the last one's my favourite. <laughs> she went to the salon. Because what do you do if you've got no food in the house? You go and get your hair done. <laughs> she went to the salon to buy him a wig. And when she came back, he was dancing a jig. You've really got to get your arms and legs moving for the jig. Brilliant. We're all ready with the actions. Make sure you've got some space. Get your brothers and sisters and grown-ups involved as well as we start with our Old Mother Hubbard song. OK. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's Are you ready? Yes, let's go, go, go. Old oh, Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, the poor little dog had none. She went to the baker to buy him some bread, but when she came back, he was shaking his head. Ready? <laughs> oh, Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, the poor little dog had none. She went to the butcher to buy him some meat, and when she came back, he was tapping his feet. Oh, Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. And when she got there, the cupboard was bare, the poor little dog had none. She went to the grocer's to buy him some fruit, and when she came back, he was playing the flute. Get your flute ready. Oh, Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. 
But when she got there, the cupboard was bare. The poor little dog had none. She went to the salon to buy him a wig, and when she came back, he was dancing a jig. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a clap. High five. Time for our story. I like sitting on this side. A very, very... Very famous story today. Oh, you used the bookmarking place. I, I did, I did. Um, our famous story today is The Three Little Pigs. Let's put our screen down just a little bit. Excellent. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with their mother in a snug little house until the little pigs grew too big. It's time you found homes of your own, said the mother. So off they trotted on their short pink legs. Trottity trot, trottity trot, trottity trot. Watch out for the big bad wolf, called the mother pig. Soon they met a man selling straw. Oh! squealed the first little pig. May I buy some? I'm going to build a straw house. He set to work right away. His house had four straw walls, a neat straw floor, a fine straw roof. Isn't it grand? said the first little pig. The others weren't so sure. They muttered and tutted, then trotted away. Soon they met a man selling sticks. Oh! Squealed the second little pig. May I buy some? I'm going to build a stick house. He said proudly. Oh, isn't my home grand? Sticks are better than straw. The third little pig wasn't so sure. She trotted on until she found some bricks. For sale. Ooh, please may I buy some? She asked. I'm going to build a brick house. Brick houses are the best of all. Hmm, I wonder why she thinks that. Mm. The next day, the big bad wolf came to the straw house. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. He called. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin, said the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed <gasps> and he puffed <gasps> and he blew the house in. <gasps> the little pig ran as fast as he could to the stick house. The wolf was right behind him. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, cried the wolf. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chins, cried the two little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he huffed <gasps> and he puffed <gasps> until at last he blew the house in. The little pigs ran as fast as they could to the brick house. The wolf was just behind them. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. No! Yelled the three little pigs. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Cried the wolf. <gasps> and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed. <gasps> And he puffed, he huffed, and he puffed, until, until, he ran out of puff. <laughs> <laughs> Laughed the three little pigs. You can't get in. But the wolf jumped onto the roof. He slid down the chimney and landed with a splash in the cooking pot. The third little pig picked up the lid and all three slammed it on. By the hairs on our chinny chin chins, they said. We won't be seeing that wolf again. Whew. They made it safe and sound in the yes. end. Thank goodness for oh that. Oh dear, that poor wolf. That third little pig, though, building the house out of bricks. That was a good idea. That was a really mm. strong house, wasn't yeah. it?
I don't think I'd like to live in a house made of straw. No, I think that the wind here would blow it away. That's true. It's, it's been really windy, it has, hasn't it? It has. That's all we've got time for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been another brilliant song and story. We'll see you again on Monday. We hope you all have a lovely weekend. And if you fancy joining me for Exercise Live at 11.45, I will see you very soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.